I think my uh, experience with coin-op could be summed up by a series of happy accidents. The first one is I had a summer job working in an amusement park. When they made me manager, I had two arcades that I was responsible for. So I learned the economics of the coin-operated game business. Now, there were just pinballs and mechanical games and cranes, no video games, of course, but the big game was a game called Chicago Coin Speedway. And it used basically slide projectors and lenses. Second happy accident, I was enrolled in the engineering department at the University of Utah. If there was a monitor connected to a big computer in 1966, there were four places in the world. One was MIT, one was Stanford AI Labs, one was Champaign-Urbana, and the fourth was the University of Utah. So I was able to see a video screen connected to a big computer. And I looked at that and I said, you know, this is a fun game. If I put a coin slot on this and put it in an arcade, it'd earn money. But then you divide 25 cents for three minutes into a million dollar computer and the math didn't work. So I just filed it away and went to work in Silicon Valley at Ampex. Third happy accident. The, the job I got actually really refined my video skills. And pretty soon I learned enough that I thought, huh, maybe I can do this at a reasonable price. Happy accident three. My dentist, who I talked to about my project, said, hey, I know a guy who works for a coin-operated game company here in Mountain View. Had no idea who Nutting Associates was and where they were. But he gave me the address, and I called Dave Ralston, and he said, hey, yeah, it's really interesting. We had gotten a prototype, you know, very, very crude little rocket ship flying around on a screen. And I demonstrated it and they offered me a job and a license agreement. So I had found a home that was willing to manufacture. That was a happy accident three. Then we built it, we introduced it. And in that job, I learned all about the distribution network for the coin operated game business. That was kind of a happy accident, but the real important part is I figured out that Nutting Associates were basically a bunch of bozos. And so I didn't want to t attach my star to those guys. And so when it came time for the second game, I s decided to quit and uh, go out on my own as a independent development sh shop. I then want to say that I had happy accident number five, which was hired Al Alcorn, saw the Magnavox Odyssey, thought that a good training project would be a ping pong game, and we developed Pong. He had it working literally in, in a week, maybe it was two, but that game earned so much money that it gave us an ability to start Atari. It was a series of happy accidents.